Hey there. You know how much I like corned beef brisket, don't you? And corned beef and cabbage. I made it so many different times. I made it in my smoker, my pressure cooker, in the oven. I even steamed it. But I never slow cooked it. So today I'm going to use my Kasori Multi cooker and slow cook it all day. Corned beef brisket, cabbage, an onion, some little red potatoes, and some garlic. Oh, and I'm going to put some, some Guinness Draft Stout in there. You don't have to do that. You can add just water or whatever liquid you like. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this is kind of like a corned beef and cabbage war between me and Kathy because she bought two of these. They're both three and a half pounds. And I'm gonna cook mine this way, and she's gonna cook hers in the uh and she's gonna cook hers in the <laughs> what's it called? <laughs> and she's gonna cook hers in the ninja foodie. See? That's on the table here. So she's gonna work over here, and I'm gonna work over there. But she's at work, and she's gonna be at work for about eight hours, and I'm gonna put this on slow for about eight hours. And by the time she gets hers ready to eat, mine will be just about ready to eat. Well, mine is gonna be done, because it's gonna be low and slow and all day long. And while she's at work, I get to lay here on my couch and watch TV and smell it all day. <laughs> Let's get started. First, I'm gonna rinse off that meat. A lot of people soak that corned beef brisket overnight in water because they say it's too salty, like my friend Brian, if he eats it at all anymore, I don't know. I'm gonna cut up half of that head of cabbage, maybe use half, maybe use more. Rinse off the carrots, taters. Put some garlic and onion in there. It's gonna be good. You know it. But well, we're kind of wondering, who's corned beef and cabbage? It's gonna be better. They're both gonna be delicious, I know they are. Cause I love it. You know I love it, I even love canned corned beef. Let me open this up out of the package. Let me rinse this off good for a while. This comes with the pickling spice, which I like to put on top. I like that a lot. Mmm. Just the right amount of fat on top of that. Oh yeah. See it? All right, you sit there. This Kasori multi cooker is really nice. I like it. It's a six quart. It bakes and steams and roasts. Can make rice, can make yogurt, can boil, brown, simmer, saute. High, medium, low as a slow cooker. First, let me cut up some of this cabbage. All right, let me cut this in half to begin with. See how much we're going to use. This is pretty easy. Just throw everything in there. I think half. Throw everything in there and set it on low and ready to go. Nothing to do all day. I think I might need this whole head. Yeah. Put that in there. Yeah, I'm gonna use the whole head because. We got another one. We got a spare. We got extra. See it? There it is. Who got a price tag on it? Dollar fifty nine. I don't need the price tag. It smells good. Let's taste it. Mmm. Sprinkle a bit of cabbage down there. What do you think? Too much? Not enough? I didn't need the whole head. I used two thirds of it. Okay? That's going to wilt down nicely. Nice bed of cabbage. I'm going to use a half a pound of these carrot chips. Half a pound of ruffle sliced 
carrot coins for color and vitamins and flavor. Let me cut up this onion real quick. Throw that in there. And a couple cloves of garlic. I got this new garlic roller gadget. Let's see how it peels a piece of garlic. Get away from my slow cooker. Where'd it go? Hey, oh look at that. That flew out and the garlic is peeled. Thank you. That's pretty cool. Let's do some more. Gonna do two at once. Did one. Almost got the other one. Do that one by itself. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, oh there we go. All right, let me cut these up. I got some more over here. Throw in my medium onion, chopped. My five cloves of garlic. is going to be better. Let me rinse these potatoes. Kathy's going to record her video too and at the end of both videos we'll sit down and taste them. Okay. Am I filling this up? <laughs> Leave room for the meat. My meat. Lost it. Oh here it is. You wait and see this. Look at this. All right, we're gonna wash that down, make it fit, and everything's gonna go down as the time goes on. You know that. Move everything out more towards the sides. Gotta get our liquid in there. A couple more potatoes around the edges. Fill these in around here. Open our 15 ounce can. That's an odd size. 14.9 fluid ounces of Guinness Draft Stout, Dublin, Ireland. Mm. Best enjoyed poured into a glass. Well, this is going to be pretty good too. What do you think? Mmm. Oh, can you smell that? I didn't forget my pickling spice. I didn't want to rinse it off. With the liquid. Is that enough? I do believe I'll have another. Whoa, look at that. It's ideal to get your meat halfway covered, but this will shrink down and it will be covered probably within an hour. Hmm. And delicious, they never give you enough of it. You like it? No salt needed for this meal, remember. So I'm gonna put a little thyme on it. Here's my thyme. Because I've been liking that flavor lately. Mmm, and the aroma. beef and cabbage wars grab my beautiful soft closing lid with the vent listen nice isn't that gonna be delicious come down here to the controls we're gonna go to slow cook on this side on low and it knows it wants the temperature to be 182 it's set for eight hours already hmm let me see make it I'm gonna make it nine and a half hours no I'm gonna make it eight and a half hours and after that time it'll go into a keep warm mode but by that time she'll be home and have her started already because we're gonna have this for our supper and then press start 
Okay, and it won't start counting down until it reaches the temperature it's set for. This is going to be so good. I'm going to be glad to be laying here on the couch watching TV and smelling this and checking it. So at 6 p.m. this should be perfect. But I'm sure it'll be okay at 5 p.m. And I can't wait to eat it. It's going to be so delicious. You know I love it. I wonder if she's going to make hers differently. I know she's going to use the Ninja Foodie. Remember that? I'll be back when it's done. All right, there's an hour left on mine. Or 45 minutes. It was an hour. Kathy's home, starting to work on hers. Mm. Mine smells good. I didn't open the lid, but there's a vent hole in the lid that I stuck the thermometer in. That's pretty cool. Watch. Are you going to make the same thing I'm making? Well, I'm not sure exactly what you made. Corned beef and cabbage. Okay. Did you use potatoes and carrots? Yeah. See this vent hole? That's a good idea. I put my thermometer in there. Turn it on. I want it to be 165 or more for this. Oh. That looks good. 70. Right in the meat, see? 72. If it was on the smoker, I'd want it to be 205 in the middle. But this is good for this meal. 175. Check another spot. Oh, well, can't get too many through that, but that's pretty neat without opening the lid. All right, I like it. So I have, how long is your meal gonna take? It has to pressure cook for about an hour and a half. Oh, so mine's gonna be in keep warm mode. Yep, that's okay. Yeah, it'll just get more tender as time goes by. Get yours started and I'll come back on mine. And then uh, we're gonna eat them together, right? Maybe. Right. We're gonna. Oh, that's Man, gonna be better. <laughs> I think that would mine took longer. Me. All right. Be today. All right. I'll be back for mine. Okay, I'm gonna work on this. There's less than a minute to go on mine. You got a nice rainstorm outside. I love it. I don't know if you can hear it. Can you? Oh yeah. What's better than that? Two corned beefs cooking on a rainy day. Woo wee! I'm sleeping all day and smelling this one. Alright, my time is up. Now it's gonna start counting up to keep warm. Let's go look at that rain. Love the rainy night. I love the rainy night. Oh yeah, I do, I do, I do. Better than snow, huh? It's like 70 degrees, I don't know why. But I'll take it. Check out the sky. Nice. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Ah. I'm going to get my corned beef and cabbage out of my Kosori multi-cooker while Kathy's just finishing up. She has it on a crisping mode over there. I wonder whose is going to be better. They're both going to be delicious. I haven't looked at this in a while. Look. Oh, you didn't see it since this morning. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, smell. I put thyme in mine. Mm. That's that a little extra smell. It does smell. I don't know how much I'm going to get on a plate, but... Not all of it, for sure. Oh, this smells so good. Let's see how I can get this piece of meat out of here first. You want this one, too? Ooh. Beautiful. We're going to cut against the grain, remember? Look at that nice piece of cabbage. Let me get a slotted spoon to get some of these out of here. Can you see in here? Mmm. Oh, look at the carrots. Cabbage, carrots, and red potatoes. A lot of nice juice. Oh, that looks great. Yeah. Whose is going to be better? What a competition. No, I kind of like that crisp <laughs> idea if it comes out. You can't lose with this meal. Oh. This. We're going to have Reuben's tomorrow, huh? Right, right. <laughs> We're not eating all this today. <laughs> all right, I'm going to leave some of these in here. I'm not going to get this all on my serving platter. But I'm going to take it over to the table and let it cool a little bit until yours is ready. Mm. 
Whoa, here we go. <laughs> here we go, where's mine? Oh. Show me yours and I'll show me. Okay. Mm. All right, you got a... Kasari Multi-Coker. Ninja Foodie. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to show them a little closer, okay? That look closer? There, and show them in the other camera. <sighs> Mm. Mm. So here's the nut. Why? See? Mmm. This is better. Okay. Yours is redder. Why? Because you put a topping on there? I'm not sure. Alright, we're gonna go against the green. Okay. Mm. Uh, can we see the meat while we're cutting it? I don't know if we have <clears throat> I think maybe we should close up a little All bit. Alright. I'll, I'll get up. See how this is gonna come out. Should be tender. Oh, it is. Oh. Nice consistency for slices for me. Wow, that looks beautiful. That looks great. Do you want a piece of mine and I'll have a piece of yours? Yeah, go ahead. Put one on my plate. You put one on my plate. Mmm, mm. just one. Okay. I left the fat on mine. Should I taste it now? I gotta wait. You gotta wait. I can't, I can't wait. All right, I'm gonna focus on the other one now. I'll get some of my vegetables here though too. Okay, I'm gonna go slice mine for you. For you. For you. More meat. Okay. Oh. Go ahead. We're all set, right? Yep. Is it turned on? Yes. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. You like that one or you like mine? I want to take a big slice out of here for you. For me? Yeah, so you can taste. Now the ending of our videos are going to be similar, but a little different. So Look watch them both. Moist and, oh, it's falling apart. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's a little smaller than your slice there. It's mine. Mm. Boy, they are slicing nice, both of them. Look at that. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. All right. Now I'm going to sit back down. Put some vegetables on your plate so I can eat. Okay. Trying to eat. Wow. Oh, this looks great. Great! Looks great. Looks like something I've been waiting all day to eat. <laughs> Since 9.30 maybe? I don't even remember. Okay. I'll taste yours. Ooh, yours just fell apart when I tried <laughs> to pick it up. They're both beautiful. We test them. Mm, this is good. Mm. Oh my god. Mm, that is good. Oh my god. Is that mine or yours? Mine. <laughs> I just want to say that glaze on top is nice. Mine's glazed with natural fats. <laughs> Let's try it. Well, mine has time. See? Yeah, I can smell the. I can smell the herbs. Mm. Mmm. Mmm, they're both delicious. You bought some bread for our sandwiches for tomorrow? Yeah. Got it over there? Well. Oh, what else you got? Dressing? I was hoping we would have enough for leftovers. Mm. <laughs> and I bought Ooh. some marble rye bread and some Russian dressing. And we have, we have um, some coleslaw, we have some sauerkraut, we have some Swiss cheese. So we're all set for lunch tomorrow. Good sandwiches tomorrow. But if we really want to try this, I got black Russian bagels. Mm. Oh, and that's made with rye. What, a Reuben like that? Oh, God. Mm. Mm. Nice and soft. Would you Bagel. toast that? 
I would toast it. Let's see how much potatoes came out. Good. Kasori multi-cooker mm. in the slow cook mode. Oh, I'll put a link to one of those down there too. Yeah. And I'll put a link to Kathy's video and you can watch hers. And I'll put a link to Rick's video <laughs> and you can watch his, how he made his meal. And we thank you for your patience while we put two videos together at once because we wanted them on each of our channels and we love to show the wars because it's <laughs> it's so much fun corned beef and cabbage wars uh, yep corned beef and cabbage wars because you can't lose mm. when we're <laughs> <So good. laughs> making wars out of these mm. delicious foods look at the potatoes in mine are really tender and nice and so are the carrots and cabbage it's great delicious meal huh mm -hmm. And we love both of these cooking methods here. They're two of our favorites. The Ninja Foodie and the Corsori Multi-Cooker. I have all... another piece of yours. How's that? Yeah, go ahead. Or two. Oh, the carrots. The carrots are so sweet like this. Let me taste your carrots. You could have even crisped up yours a little more, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was nice and bubbly, though. Mmm. Mm. So good. See, his carrots taste uh, totally different with the herbs in there. The They're, thyme? Mm hmm. The thyme. And all day thyme, too. Mm hmm. And the, and the carrots absorbed all that flavor. You can see by the color mm. of them. Good, good. Nice job. Oh. We don't have to pick a winner, do we? No, that reminds me, though, I mm -hmm. might have a winner in my pocket. Oh, lucky shirt on. <laughs> lucky numbers. <laughs> oh, it's a lucky weekend, everyone. Mm -hmm. We hope you can try making some corned beef this weekend. They're on sale. Are they on sale? Yeah, most of the places have them marked down for uh, the holiday. Skin ticket. Oh no, not a winner. That's okay. This is a winner, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for watching our video. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Please subscribe. Check Kathy's video out. Check Rick's video out. <laughs> You'll Yours enjoy. is good. They're both great. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're both great. All right, talk to you soon. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> they got two cameras here. <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> no, not yours. <laughs> Bye. 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 Mm. Mm.